Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to verify the close-up property of addition and subtraction of integers with various examples. So, the question is verify close-up properties of addition and subtraction of integers. Solution. So, we know that closer under addition. We will first see for addition, then we will see for subtraction. So, we know that sum of two whole numbers is again a whole number. See example, we are adding 17, it's a whole number, plus that is sum, we are adding 24, it's a whole number. So, if you add 17 plus 24, we will get 41, which is also a whole number. So, we know that this property, that is closer property of addition is true for whole numbers. That is, if you add two whole numbers, the result is also a whole number. So, we can say that closer property is true for addition of whole numbers. The same thing, now we are going to verify it for integers. So, let's see whether this closer property is true for integers or not. First, we will see closer property of addition. So, now observe the following table and complete it. So, to check whether if you add two integers, then the result is an integer or not. So, they have given us with few questions. First, let us see it. Okay, one by one. First question is 17 plus 23. So, if you add 17 and 23, the result will be 40. So, 17 is an integer, 23 is an integer, the result 40 is also an integer. That is what we have observed. The next number is negative 10 plus 3. Okay, so here also we are doing addition, but one with negative integer, other one with positive integer. So, negative 10 plus 3 will be negative I am taking out. That is some sign of the greater number. Then I am subtracting 10 minus 3. So, negative 7. So, which is also an integer. So, if you add one negative integer and one positive integer, then also the result is an integer. Next, negative 75 plus 18. So, sign of the greater number. So, that is negative. Then we have to subtract. So, 75 minus 18, that is 57. So, negative 57. So, two integers added. Again, you will get an integer. So, the result is an integer. The next number is 19 plus negative 25. So, you are adding positive integer with a negative integer. So, now the sign of the greater number. So, that is negative and 25 minus 19 is 6. So, this is also an integer. Next question given is 27 plus negative 27. So, 27 minus 27 that result is 0 which is also an integer. Next is negative 20 plus 0. So, negative 20 plus 0 will be negative 20. So, the result is an integer. Next is negative 35 plus negative 10. So, we are adding two negative numbers. So, I am taking negative common and then adding the two numbers that is 35 plus 10 that is 45. So, it is negative 45. So, which is also an integer. So, now what do we observe in the addition of integers? So, if you add two integers, the result is an integer. So, if you add one negative integer and one positive integer, then also the result is an integer. If you add two negative integers, then also the result is an integer. Or if you add zero with the integer, then also the result is an integer. So, next question is, is the sum of two integers always an integer? Yes, so we have seen so many examples. So, when we add two integers, maybe positive or negative, then the result in all the cases are integers. Do you find any pair of integers whose sum is not an integer? No, for all pairs of integers, the sum is always an integer. So, we can conclude that addition of integers gives integers. So, we can say that integers are closed under addition. So, like our whole numbers, integers are also closed under addition. So, in, in general, we can say that for any two integers a and b, a plus b is an integer. That is, sum of two numbers is an integer if both the numbers are also integers. Now, we will see closer property under subtraction. So, what happens when we subtract an integer from another integer? Can we say that their difference is also an integer? So, now they have given a table. So, we will observe all the statements and we will finalize the closer property for subtraction. So, now subtraction 7 minus 9. So, greater number symbol 
9 and then subtract 9 minus 7 it's 2 so negative 2 it is an integer so next is 17 minus negative 21 so this minus and negative will become plus so 17 plus 21 is 38 this is also an integer next two negative integers so negative 8 minus negative 14 so here it will be negative 8 minus and this negative will become plus so negative 8 plus 14 will be greater number symbol so plus 14 minus 8 is 6 so the result is an integer next also two negative integers so negative 21 minus negative 10 so negative 21 plus 10 so this will be negative 11 this is also an integer so now 32 minus negative 17 so 32 plus 17 it will be 49 this is also an integer now negative 18 minus negative 18 so negative 18 minus of negative will become plus so negative 18 plus 18 will become 0 so this result is an integer Next is negative 29 minus 0. So, that is negative 29 minus 0 will be again negative 29. So, this is also an integer. So, now if you subtract any two integers, positive integers or one positive and one negative integers or two negative integers or any integers with 0 if it is subtracted, the result is also an integer. Now, we will answer few questions. Is there any pair of integers whose difference is not an integer? No. So, if you find difference for all pairs of integers, the result is also an integer. Can we say integers are closed under subtraction? Yes, we can say integers are closed under subtraction because if you subtract two integers, the result is also an integer. So, we can say integers are closed under subtraction. So, we can say if a and b are two integers, then a minus b is also an integer. So, hence we can say that closer property of addition and subtraction of integers is verified. That is, if you add two integers, the result is an integer. If you subtract two integers, the result is an integer. So, this says that closure property of addition and subtraction of integers are satisfied. Hope you have understood how to find the closure property of addition and subtraction of integers or to verify the closure property of addition and subtraction of integers. So, finally, we can say closure property of addition and subtraction for integers is satisfied. Thank you for watching this video.